Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more NBA 2K16 by GM. My name is Brendan Plays. It is good to be back with the series once again, and we have advanced quite a far way into it. We are up to the month of January, kind of midway through January right now. We're 17 and 22. We'll take a look at our last game that we played. It was a, a loss against the Bucks, and uh, things haven't been working out all that greatly for us. And uh, what we're going to be doing in the next couple of uh, episodes, we're going to be simulating probably five games an episode. Then we're going to play a match and simulate probably another five games again. Just so we can kind of get through the series. We kind of played a lot of games to, to kick it off. And uh, we're going to try and get through the series and uh, show you guys the entire season of the Knicks in the end. So we'll see how we go. So just kind of editing the minutes a little bit here after simulating a few games. Our coach has kind of given us some crazy minutes for some of the guys. And we want to kind of edit it to suit our needs and uh, realistically right now I'm not exactly sure what our best team is you know we now have Gibson we got Sanders in as well Seraphin doing pretty decent as well coming off the bench I think Snell right now is currently injured so he's out of the picture for a little bit but uh, his injury isn't all that severe he'll be back pretty soon so Flolo, he's kind of lost some minutes. I think he's a little bit out of favor. I'm really liking uh, Avery Bradley. He's doing a great job for us. His points are up, and uh, he's doing very well and utilizing his minutes nicely. He's doing very well as a starter for us. So I'm very pleased with uh, that uh, trade we got. We're going to bring in uh, early in a little bit. We're going to give him a couple minutes. We haven't really used much of him yet, so we're going to give him an opportunity and see how he, go how he goes because uh, I would like to see just how good he is and what he can provide to our team. So at the moment, 20 and 24. So we have 62% chemistry, 81% fan interest. We're seventh in the conference, second in the division, which isn't exactly all that bad. So you can see Carmelo, always our best scorer. Grant's been pretty good as well. Gibson, there you go, 18 points. So he's doing a pretty good job. Ben Gordon, not bad as well. So he's actually uh, stepping up off the bench as well. So some of our players are really doing pretty good for us. And it's not just Carmelo every single week. Well, that one it was. But uh, most times it is Carmelo. But it's good to see some other players stepping up. Pazingas, for example, he's a great player, Pazingas. He's going to be a, a great player for us heading in towards the future. So today we're going to be coming up against the Clippers. And what a matchup that will be. So 20 and 24 is where we're at right now behind Toronto. And Cleveland are at the top of our conference. So we have a little bit of work to do to catch up. But uh, who knows, we might get there. So at the moment, it's Anthony leading the way. 16 points per game. Bradley just a tick under 10. And we are going to increase the minutes this episode in the other episodes heading in towards the series. We are going to increase the minutes of the games to eight minutes per quarter. I know a lot of you guys were requesting that. I finally obliged. I finally said, you know what, I'll do it. And I finally have got around to doing it. So here we go, eight minute quarters now. And it'll be the Clippers versus the Knicks. And uh, this will be a good challenge for us. The Clippers, very good, 28 and 14. So obviously a very tough con contest. And obviously you got you know, Chris Paul and uh, Blake Griffin. Very, very difficult to stop. And that's exactly what uh, we need to try and stop. Blake Griffin, an easy two points there. And, you know, that's probably going to be expected. We're getting outmatched and outclassed in majority of the, uh, the matchups here tonight. So it's going to be a very tough contest for us. But, you know, if we're good enough, we can pick up the win. And we are at home, so hopefully the home court advantage starts kind of uh, drive us home a little bit. So 2-2, two and two. Bradley kicks it off for us here tonight with a, with two pointers. Uh, two points, and and now uh, it's Chris Paul with an easy uh, layup there. So Paul obviously going to be the danger man for the Clippers as well as Griffin. So it'll be Paul and Griffin doing their job. And oh, Lopez kicks it back to Bradley. Goes for three. He misses. It was a bit of a deepish three. But uh, you can see we almost lost it in the paint there. So Pierce, Paul Pierce is going to be very, very tough to stop as well. The veteran. And Griffin now being marked up by Pazingas. How will he fare? Not too bad. So he stops Griffin from scoring there. And that's very positive. Here comes Carmelo. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Carmelo flying. And it gets the good pass and slams it down. So a confident start there for Carmelo and the Knicks. And it's currently 20 plays 17 as Smith gets two points there to give the Clippers a three-point lead. And that's exactly what we do not want the Clippers to get a, an early lead and kind of make things a little bit difficult for us. And there you go, Carmelo giving a bit of room there by Smith, a bit of a 
poor defensive effort there. And a miss there by the Knicks. Clippers do regather the ball now. And what can Stevenson do here? Here we go. He's matched up, matched up by Carmelo. Carmelo! He can stop him. And they will get the rebound. So that's very good there. Here is Grant. Now to Anthony. To Serafin. Goes for a jumper himself. And he'll get it. And that's what Serafin is very underrated at. He can land that jumper at mid-range, which is very, very handy to get to one of your big men to nail one of those shots. It gives you an extra scoring option, which is probably why I wanted Seraphine to stay around rather than O'Quinn in that trade that we had quite some time ago now. But uh, it's definitely very handy to have Seraphine around when he can deliver those shots. So 25 plays 21 at the end of the first quarter. It's a close one, but uh, as you can see, it's just Griffin and Paul. They are very tough to stop. We are doing our best, but those matchups, uh, they're very, very tough to uh, overcome. Here's Lopez. Goes with the fake, draws in the, def in the defense, and gets the two. So a nice shot there by Lopez, who's been a guy we need to utilize a little bit more as well. And, uh, he's a good scorer. Here's Redick. He misses. He had a bit of room to move. Had a defense behind him of Bradley, but he did get around Bradley, so that's a bit of a worrying sign. He's early. He misses the three shot. So early had a chance to kind of get himself into the game early. Yes, pun intended. And uh, now it's Gordon with the rebound. And Gordon, I don't know where he was throwing it. The guy in the fifth row was calling for the ball. Gordon saw him and thought he'd make the pass. He still missed the pass anyway. And... Uh, I don't know what the hell he was doing. All I know is he turned the ball over, and now the Clippers have a large lead. It is not looking good for us. Here's Carmelo. Spins around, and he misses. Well, there you go. So he does all the flashy stuff, and he couldn't execute at the end. A bit like our game at the moment. It is 16 points down. Here we go. Two more points to be added. Yes, it will. Sanders a little bit too early, and... Uh, he thought he, would going to, he was going to get that uh, rebound there, and uh, he needed just to wait. Probably another second. I didn't think it was going to go in in the end. But he kind of jumped the gun and uh, cost his team two points. As a Flolo gets two points back, though. So 16 points is the lead right now. Can they get themselves back into it? They just need to force a few mistakes. Oh, well, there you go. Bradley trying out for high jump, and he's uh, doing pretty good at it as well. So here's Paul, and he will miss. So obviously a bit of a poor matchup there for Paul. It's Gibson and Grant in there. Here's Carmelo, and he will miss. Again, Carmelo creating the room for himself, and again with the miss. So perhaps somebody else other than Carmelo might have to be the option to take right now. Here's Carmelo again. Gives it off to, to Grant. He's going to take the shot, decide against it. Here's Gibson. He takes it, and he gets it. So again, Gibson... And Seraphin, these guys coming off the bench, you wouldn't really think their mid-range game is all that up to scratch to really utilize it. Oh, Sanders with the block. Grant can't quite dive in it, Kenny. And it is going to be a backcourt. So Griffin grabbed the ball. Didn't want the Knicks to get it. Otherwise, the Knicks pretty much had a free run to the basket. Now a follow. Gives it off to Anthony. Can he nail it? Yes, he can. Big basket heading in towards half time. Ten-point game. And a nice little comeback there. So only, only 10 points is the difference. It's still a very tough deficit to come back from. But you can see their field goal percentage isn't all that bad. It's just the rebounding game that it is going to be very, very tough for them to overcome. Obviously, when you've got Griffin there, it's, 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 uh, it's difficult. But uh, nonetheless, the Knicks are hanging in there. 10 points is the start is the difference and they need a great start here in the second half they need to make sure they go on a bit of a run here or this game could be heading in towards a blowout victory they've had a decent fight back but it's not over yet here's Carmelo lines up for three and he will get it so a good comeback from Carmelo he had a few bad misses and now they make a turnover as they force a turnover get the steal here comes Bradley and he finishes it so all of a sudden three-point game here by the next a couple of nice baskets, and things have turned around very, very quickly for New York. And the Clippers will be wondering what the hell just went wrong. They had a 10-point lead. Now it's only three. Chris Paul, he'll make it five. Classy is Chris Paul. 
And he has 12 points now. Well, he got 12 points in the first half, making that one 14 points now. And Lopez gets the foul, and he'll shoot for two. And he'll get the first one. So he's not exactly a bad free, th free throw shooter, but uh, he's... He wouldn't be throwing in the ball every occasion, but he gets two from two there. So you can't really complain all that much. Very nicely done there by Lopez. And it is going to be Reddick again. Trying to drive up the lane here. And uh, oh, Bazingas with the intercept. Now gives it to Bradley. Well, what about that deficit? And what about that dunk? Here we go. Oh, yes there. Very nicely done there by Bradley. And a three-point game. Oh, Bradley's got it back. Another steal. Grant now, Lopez! What about that from Robin Lopez? And a couple of nice steals there from the Knicks, keeping them alive in this game. Four point lead now, and speaking of steals, they give one away themselves. It's Crawford, he can't make it. So good enough defense there to force the miss. A Flawlo now. A Flawlo, looking for his options. What has he got? He's got Bradley, and he will... Yes, he'll get it. Thought for a second it was going to roll out. But Bradley good enough to get the two. It's a close game here. The Knicks are still fighting. They're hanging on. It's so difficult right now. The Clippers are so good. They have so many different scoring options. But the Knicks are not going to go down without a fight. Bradley, opportunity here. Oh, I think he might have got that one off a little bit too late. He got it in the end, but I think a tad too late. So it will remain 72 plays, 67 heading in towards the fourth quarter. Tight contest between these two teams. And now we start off the fourth. And it is a mistake there by the Clippers. So now the Knicks, they'll get the first say of the, of the half, you would assume. Grant now, looking for an option himself, trying to drive it up, gives it to Pazingas, Pazingas, oh, gets a long range two, so that's a very good shot from Pazingas, and he's a guy you can certainly throw the ball to, and you can expect him to make those long shots, he's got a, he's got a very good long to mid range game, and he's just improving rapidly every single game he plays, now to Grant, he goes for three, and it's a miss. So Jordan now, he has it. Tough rebounder to overcome himself. That's why Sanders is probably a good matchup for him. And oh, that's a big three there by Pierce. You cannot leave him wide open. And he will make that three and punish you. Bradley, 19 points here tonight. It's Paul, and he gets two more. So we did have the lead for a moment there, but it's now even game. And look at that field goal percentage. Both teams, very, very good. I guess the defense hasn't been all that great by both teams and Anthony he'll get two more points so the lead is back in favor of the Knicks what a win this would be upsetting the Clippers here tonight it's not over yet though two-point game uh oh uh oh it's three well you could drive a bus or a truck through that gap because Pierce had all the room in the world to make that three we said not to leave him open and that's exactly what the Knicks did and he made them pay one point game now Clippers 89 New York 88 Crawford on Bradley. Bradley not the best defensive player and he's been exposed a little bit here tonight. Bazingas now on Griffin. Uh oh, Griffin! Oh yes, he had enough room and he makes them pay. Bazingas, the rookie, trying to guard up on Griffin. Unsuccessful though. It's Grant to Bradley. They need to make this shot. Bradley cannot do it. And oh no, things are looking pretty grim now. Here's Crawford, tries to make two more, yes he will, five point deficit, and that could be the game, 46 seconds to go, what can the Knicks do, Sanders, oh, wide open to Anthony, and straight away they used a second on the clock to get those two points, well played there by the Knicks, and Anthony again, Anthony makes the steal, Grant finishes it, one point game. What a quick turnaround. 10 seconds. What a difference it makes. And now it's one point. It's Paul. He's blocked. But back to Griffin though. Now Jordan. He misses. Bradley. 
The Knicks, they need to make this shot. It's Anthony wide open. He will get it. Carmelo Anthony. What a shot that is. And there we go. One point game. 15 seconds to go. Crawford on Bradley. Bradley's defense has been tested here tonight. It hasn't been all that great. Can he stop Crawford? The dying seconds. Crawford. He's got the shot off. He's got it. Crawford gets it. And that's the game you would think. Crawford breaks the hearts of all the Knicks fans. And the Knicks just cannot win. Oh. What a comeback it was. I think it was 18 points down at one point. The comeback and lose by one. That is tough. Yep. Too late. He misses anyways. And the Clippers, they survive. The Knicks nearly get it done, but not quite. What a game between the two teams, though. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the return of NBA 2K16 GM mode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button. 36 points for Carmelo! Bradley, 21 points. Lopez, 10. Four rebounds as well. Seven rebounds there for Pazingas. So 36 from Carmelo. What a way to kick off the eight. Eight minute quarters. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you want to subscribe to see more videos coming up from me as well, make sure you do so. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. We have our own different flags and and oh wait a second, this is one of our community members over here, and this is what he's doing. He's his head is through the wall. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on there, but